Welcome to maybe the weirdest angle ever, but it's necessary because today we are reorganizing my home study slash library. <laughs> This is the room I work my nine to five in. It's the room that I do all my writing in. It's the room I do all my filming in. And it's just my overall happy place and cozy spot within the house. So it's really important to me that my environment feels exciting and cozy and magical. I did quite a lot of the work that I did in here in like late summer, early autumn of last year. And I did put a video up about that. So I'll leave a link to that in the description. But now that I've been in it for several months, I've got some changes that I wanna make. The primary change I wanna make is the positioning of the desk. Right now it's kind of down in this little nook. I don't think you can really see it, but it's like sandwiched between um, this like wardrobe that I've got all my office and craft supplies in and then this like filing cabinet over here. And it just feels like really tightly squeezed in. I don't feel like I've got enough space to put things and I have a lot of things. <laughs> I have a lot of clutter. I don't know if you can tell. I've already done some of the boring stuff. Like I had a giant pile of clutter over there where Kirby's poking in at the moment. And you can see I've like whittled it down to one box. But what I now need to do is I need to move the furniture around. I need to clean everything. Then I need to get all of my stuff put away. I've got some new organizational stuff. And and then I have also got some nice new decorating things. I've got a few lovely little details that I'm gonna pop around and also I'm going antiquing on Sunday. So it's gonna be a multi-day process tonight because it is Friday evening. My goal is to get the initial furniture move done so that tomorrow I can then clean and organize and then on Sunday I can decorate. I don't think that sounds too bad. So let's start moving some shit. done all of my furniture moving. The rest of the room is still an absolute mess, but it actually didn't take quite as long as I thought. It's only been about an hour or so, and I even did a little bit of cleaning as I was doing it, so very successful evening. Um, I got my desk setup done. I've swapped my screens around so that it's easier to use my big screen. <laughs> I do need to find the Allen key that goes to this desk because it, like, moves massively. Uh, I think one of the things is loose, so I really need to tighten that up. It's worse now that it's not being wedged between two things, and I do often use it in like a standing position. Um, my fairy lights, which were already quite messed up, have now completely fallen down <laughs> across my bookshelves. The clips that I was using to keep them up were really poor and so I've got some new ones that seem like they're gonna be much better for it and I'm just gonna use more of them as well. So I will check back in with you tomorrow when we will be finishing the organization. All or nothing, no gray zones. Species die, no major tones. Take us to the moon. Ancient Greek and dinosaurs If you were here you'd show us remorse No one is immune Spock Deep inside We all thrive And the man on the other side Is a reflection of you and I Spock The antidote of our lives Oh that's super pretty Okay, 
Okay, so I did a horrible job of filming at the thrift shop because we ended up not having very much time and I really wanted to be able to pay attention rather than worry about filming and I'm so glad that I did because some of the last stalls that I went to are where I found some of my favorite things that I got and I wouldn't have made it to them if I'd been taking the time to film. So I only got a couple of clips which you will have just seen but I will show you what I got. So first of all, I got these two vases from different places but I liked both of them. This one's quite modern with sort of different shades of blue and it's got quite like a textured finish to it. And then this one is very different. It said Roman style on there, but it kind of looks more Hellenic to me, like Greek. I have no idea. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's got the pattern at the bottom that always makes me think of Hercules. <laughs> so I got these. I don't actually think these are going to go in this room though. I think these are going to go downstairs, but I wanted to show them to you. What are definitely going up here are these globe bookends. They don't match perfectly. It looks like maybe one of them was like closer to the sun wherever they last lived because they're two like distinct colors but they're clearly meant to go together. And I just love them. When I was walking around I kept being like oh I could really go for a globe. That's quite nice. And then I saw these globe bookends and was like well duh I'm getting those. I don't really need bookends but I'm thinking that maybe all of my library books that are up here which I'm doing a whole separate video about that. So I'll leave a link to that in the description when it's ready. But all of these library books up here, I might move to the windowsill and have them between these just so that I've got really obvious in front of me how many library books I have. Or maybe I'll do it up there. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. I gotta figure out where I'm gonna place these. <laughs> I just got this cute little tin with like flowers on it. It's very lightweight, but I paid basically nothing for it. It was a very successful trip, so now all I have to do is finish setting out all these new decorations. Like I said, I've got this one box of junk that I need to do something with, and then I will be able to show you everything now that it's done. So let's do it. Mm -hmm. 